you, Madam Speaker, and I thank my uh, friend and colleague from Florida for his kind words, and uh, uh, we share the same sentiments with regard to hurricanes, and we've both dealt with them, so I uh, appreciate his work as well uh, and his leadership for the state of Florida. Madam Speaker, September 24th marks the fifth anniversary of Hurricane Rita's landfall in my southwest Louisiana district. This Category 3 storm came ashore with wind speeds of more than 120 miles per hour and 115 feet of storm surge, causing an estimated $11.3 billion in damages, making it the third most expensive natural disaster in, in U.S. history. Hurricane Rita caused widespread destruction to our communities, fragile working uh, wetlands, and critical e energy infrastructure in Vermillion, Cameron, and Calcasieu parishes. On a personal note, I'd like to thank all of my colleagues who traveled to southwest Louisiana in the months after the storm to witness firsthand the devastation and to offer assistance. I also want to thank Chairman Oberstar, Ranking Member Micah, and the committee staff, as well as the entire Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, who all worked with our delegation to help address some of the problems we faced in this storm's aftermath. In the past five years, I've worked hard to ensure that Rita is not the forgotten storm and to further assist in the region's recovery and building. I'm proud we have initiated the first ever hurricane prote protection plan for southwest Louisiana and included provisions in the 2007 Word of Bill to help expedite the Corps of Engineers' work to ensure projects are not delayed. Rita exposed the critical state of our coastal wetlands and the role they play in supporting the U.S. energy industry. These wetlands serve as a critical buffer against hurricanes and protect industries and cities located further inland. Before the 2005 storms, the projected land loss in Louisiana was after Katrina and Rita, the National Wetlands Center reported 217 square miles of Louisiana coastal lands were transformed to water. Protecting and strengthening our coast is not only a Louisiana problem, it's an American problem. Families and businesses rely on the energy we produce in Louisiana and transport throughout the country each day. But we, are just, we were just starting to regain our way of life along the Gulf Coast, and Louisianians now face new challenges. The current moratorium on deep water drilling in the Gulf of Mexico threatens good paying jobs and our economic, economic livelihood. This moratorium has idled 33 rigs and the workers on these platforms, and it's hampering South Louisiana's recovery. There are also thousands of more support workers affected by this, including welders, electricians, mariners, caterers, and engineers that aren't directly employed by the drilling operator. The ramifications of the deep water moratorium and the de facto shallow water moratorium are being felt as layoffs have begun along the Gulf Coast. The same hardworking citizens who stayed in South Louisiana to rebuild their homes with their own hands after Hurricanes Katrina and Rita are now experiencing economic devastation. American energy production in the Gulf can be done safely, and we need to work together to quickly implement improved safety standards to put Gulf Coast residents back to work delivering the energy that this nation relies upon. Louisianians are resilient, and I'm proud to work with my community as we continue the long recovery process. Madam Speaker, I want to salute the dedicated first responders, volunteers, and professionals who offered assistance to those affected by the storm and recognize the progress Southwest Louisiana has made in five years of restoring and rebuilding our coastal communities. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I yield back to the my The gentleman yields back the balance of his time.